G'day guys and welcome back to Ostar Studios. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Roku and the Apple TV app has finally come to Roku. I'm going to talk a little bit about it and show you a whole review of it, just to give you a bit of an idea what the Apple TV app looks like on the Roku. So obviously in November, uh, you're going to see the Apple TV Plus be integrated into the Apple TV app. Um, there's some Apple TV content, Apple TV Plus content on there. You just can't watch it at this current point. So we're going to do a full review on the Apple TV app finally came to Roku. Let's get into it. The first look on the brand new Apple TV app. And basically, you're going to be able to rent your TV shows, movies, and so on. Um, I got the exact same day as the US, so luckily we can use it in Australia. And I've got an invite to use it and get the app downloaded. So this will launch. We're expected to see this launch probably around December time. This will start rolling out on your um, Telstra TVs. Um, Android TV possibly. And you're going to see this. Uh, this is already on Mac as well. Mac, It'll be available on Mac too in Australia as well. So let's dig in and take a little look on what you're expected to see on this brand new um, cool Apple TV app. Now the one thing I have noticed at the moment is that it's, it's a bit slow when you open the app. So the screen will go black and then you'll wait a few seconds and the Apple TV logo will come back on. Uh, you got to do this for about a minute. It takes a little while. So hopefully when it officially launches in Australia and officially launches, well it's already officially launched in the US but um, obviously there is going to be an update. Now as you see, I've logged into my previous Apple TV account. And you can have a look at all the stuff that I've previously watched on my Apple TV, and it automatically goes over to the Roku on the Apple TV app. It's pretty cool. And we're gonna show you how it all works when you watch something. But first of all, what we're gonna really dig into and start having a look at is basically Watch Now. So Watch Now gives you the option to have a look at everything that you've watched previously on the Apple TV, particularly on the Apple TV app. So as you see, this is previous stuff that I have watched months ago. And really cool thing is it remembers exactly where you were watching on the Apple TV. So um, if you had this on your iPhone or something, you're watching a, a TV show and then you leave it, go on your Roku, it remembers the exact same spot that you were watching, which is great. So let's head down and have a look at some other content that you will be able to watch. So as you see, you're going to have some series that you can buy from uh, HBO. So when you click on something you want to buy here, um, either with your um, iTunes gift card, you can start buying the episode. And if you scroll down one more, it's gonna give you the different episodes and so on. We go down again, we'll have related, go down one more, and then you've got your cast, and these are the ways to buy it. And you can buy it in a season for $29. So let's back out of that. And you've got a bunch of other stuff you can easily watch. Then if we scroll down one more, we're going to see the Apple TV Plus coming soon, November's um, 2nd for us in Australia. And if you do click on that, you can open up the trailer. Right there. And also you can see the cast coming up in this series, which is pretty cool. And again, it's just like the Apple TV. You click on the cast, it'll bring you to all the movies that they have been in. So let's back out of that as well. So that's how you can have a look at some Apple TV Plus coming soon. All right, so now let's head down one more and go over to our movies. So new movies, so you can take a little look at all the brand new movies coming to Apple TV. So you can scroll through these. Now again, when you click on something, so I clicked on a series before, so you can either, this is actually a movie, I think. Yeah, it's a movie. You can buy it or you can rent it or you can just put it on your up next list. Watch the trailer. Have a look at all the cast and ways that you can purchase it. Okay. And that's basically everything that we really need to look at down here. Um, if you wanted to look at some 4K content, um, this is all the 4K stuff is available. And if you've got an eligible 4K Roku, and if it does come to Telstra TV, which it is expected to, um, you will have this option as well because Telstra TV is in 4K. Okay, so now let's head back and let's take a little look at movies. And then obviously we're going to show you our library and some settings that you can muck with to make your experience a little bit better. So under top movies, you're going to have Toy Story 4 and so much more down here. Now sometimes you do get weekly offers, so you can rent a movie for 99 cents. And that's one of the great things with Apple when you rent with iTunes. It's all in the one app, so if you rent something on the Roku, it's going to be on your Apple TV and it's going to be on your iPhone. So that's the great thing, you're not locked to have an Apple TV. So if we click on the weekly offers for 99 cents, 
So this is what they've got at the moment. So you can rent this for 99 cents if you want. If you want to go over to some classics with Pink Panther, you can rent that for 99 cents. Even if you bought that, that's a pretty good deal. It's only $4.99. And as you see, the movies that it is recommending, it's going off my experience from the Apple TV, what I used to rent. A lot of, I watch a lot of stuff like this, so it's finding me a lot of recommended content, so it knows what I'm going to want to watch. Again, we've got some more um, 99 cents um, rentals that you can have a look at down here. And if you want to pick a price like $4.99, uh, you can click on that and it's going to show us some $4.99 rentals that we can get. Okay, so that's basically everything. You get the gist of the idea down there. If you want me to do a really in-depth look on the Apple TV um, app on Roku, let us know down below. So let's go back. And now let's head over to the TV shows. So TV shows is going to give us a few options here. Um, you're going to have a heap of HBO content. You can buy stuff under 15, as you see there. You can buy a whole season under 15. Uh, you can look at new seasons right here. So you even get ABC content that you can rent instead of watching it on TV. Okay, right there. And that's basically everything that we're going to really look at under the TV shows area. The main area that we really want to take a look at is in the library. So we'll just quickly go to kids and then we'll show you what we are expected to see in the library. Okay, so right here it's going to have different uh, kids stuff and they even put some kids movies in here too. Basically, yeah, so you can get the gist of the contents like, like Jumanji, Incredibles 2, Zootopia and so much more. Also, if you want to only look at Disney content, just click on Disney and that gives you the option to really explore what is going to be available on Disney that you can rent. So you can scroll down and take a look at all this content. Now again, as soon as you rent something, you keep it for life, or not rent. When you buy something, you keep it for life, so remember that. Um, so if we go back and get a library, this is everything that I've purchased between my whole iTunes account. And I've purchased quite a bit of stuff, so we're gonna go um, through a bit of it. So if we go over the TV shows, it's gonna show you what I've bought in the TV shows area. So this is what I've bought in TV shows. Now we're going to have a look at movies. So these are all the movies that I purchased quite a bit. And then you can go down here and go into like um, comedy, TV, uh, kids and family. But what we're going to really show you is we're going to just show you how it plays. And it actually plays just like the Apple TV. So we'll click on a movie. And also we're going to actually have a little look at something else that a lot of you guys are going to ask, does it have autoplay for the next episode? I don't know actually, so we're going to go take a look. As you see, it just opens just like the Apple TV. And you can start from the beginning, or you can just hit back again, and it will go back to the main menu that you were looking at. So let's go have a look and see if it does do autoplay. Now, on the Apple TV, autoplay does not exist. It doesn't work. But does it work on Roku? So what we're going to have to do... So if they've actually fixed this issue, let's just go right to the end and see if it actually has been um, fixed. Because if it has, it's going to be way better. So we're sad to announce, no, autoplay doesn't exist still with Apple. It's so annoying. You buy content, you want to watch the next episode, and you've got to manually click on the second episode. So that was a bit disappointing. I was hoping that would have been something that would have integrated into the app. But sadly it isn't. We will look in settings to see if there is an option, but I'm pretty sure there isn't. So yeah, and another thing we'll just quickly show you when we um, open this up. If you click down on the remote, you can change the language of the TV show. Just like you would do on the Apple TV. Okay, so now let's back out of all that. Um, same as with your movies. Uh, does the exact same right there. So we'll have a look at search. So search is going to be the same. You're going to get trending uh, movies. And then you're going to get trending TV shows right there. Now we'll go to settings, the last area. Now you can go about, um, which that will tell you the software that we are running and the region and how I am connected. Then you've got restrictions if you want to do that. If you're limited to SD, you can turn that on too. And um, you can reset the Apple TV app. 
Uh, yeah, you can clear your history, but I would not recommend doing that because when you do, that's going to reset it on everything. So I would definitely wouldn't recommend doing that. Keep location on, and you can send data to or data to Apple if you want to. You can look at their legal agreement, and there's actually not much you can really do over in the um, settings option. There's no autoplay, nothing like that. So that's basically everything about this brand new Apple TV app, and I hope you guys really like it. And when Apple TV Plus does launch, we'll do a definitely do a review and show you what new stuff is added on. And there's gonna be a new area, I think, it's gonna be called Apple TV Plus within the app. And we'll show you exactly where that is. So that's basically all there is to show at the moment. Another thing you can do as well when you're on the Apple TV Plus area, if you just hit it on the left, you can just have a look at all the Apple TV Plus content by just clicking on the left on the remote. Just like that. So yeah, that's everything in today's video on how to really use the new Apple TV Plus experience and it will be coming to Australia very soon. So thanks again for watching All Star Studios. We'll catch you guys next time. Thank you for watching All Star. To maintain our high standards, feel free to let us know if the audio was too quiet or if the picture were significantly hard to see. We always appreciate your feedback. Alternatively, you can contact our main office at support at gbtnetgo.com. We're open from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Sydney Standard Time. You can always contact us if something in the video was significantly incorrect. Thanks again for watching All Star. Bye for now and have a great evening.